fate inescapably draws you on. What a putrid offering. Don't fight. You have been chosen. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, are you still... I'm coming. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem, and I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. <laughs> All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. this symbol on the man's chest. It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? 
That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Darkwater? Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let some things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some- Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems- All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. I used to be an avid reader.
almost there. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A ah, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the stranded whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. Asilla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. This blackboard hasn't been used in a long while. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. What a macabre souvenir. Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine.
Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. You saw what happened. He's the troublemaker. Oh, you're a true mainlander. A real princess. You strut around with your la-di-da ways, and then, as soon as the pressure arises, you start squealing. You don't have what it takes to drink my whiskey. You've got to earn it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak, then. I reserve the right to answer or not. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland, for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah, well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. Her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? I've got what I need. Anything else? What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland, for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. I've got what I need. Anything else? The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. Oh yeah? That must have been before you came looking for a fight in my bar. Oh, come on. Because of a little tussle. Drinking it here is a privilege, and I grant the privilege to whoever I want. Anything else? I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else?
That'll be all for now. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. And the doctor, what did he say? He laughed. My God. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations. Gifted with its own consciousness. Until it finds a new reader. Do you like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. <laughs> exactly. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. I saw the newspaper clipping. You don't believe it, do you? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? We're the proof! Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night. Stranger. So long. What you looking at, stranger? I've rarely seen a woman who can hold her liquor so confidently. What gives you the right to judge me? Ah, it was a compliment. So what? Let me drink, stranger. here again this isn't your home you bunch of sand crabs we There's go nothing we for want. you here either hey you'll get Beat us into it. trouble you're already in trouble come on can we sort this out gentlemen please move back let the police do their work hey sullivan can the same goes for you sir move along I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah, and so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't under- Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters! You're crazy! They're cops. They can't- The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Don't put that beast back in the water, you- What could have done so much damage? You can't understand. You're not sailors. What could have done so much damage? Don't put that beast... You can see that I'm busy, can't you? You That's can't no understand. You're not sailors. Oh, yeah? It's a sign. 
He's going to get us in coming. trouble. Something real bad. <laughs> but you can stay to watch if you want. You can pick up the pieces. There's nothing for you here Come either. On, you bastard. Beat it. You'll see what a true sailor's got in his belly. You hear that? You I've brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you, but in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins, but that's all I'll get from them. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I know that Charles Hawkins was descended from a family of ship owners. And the island's fishing industry was hit badly. Indeed, we specialized in whaling, but no whalers went out to sea after the miraculous catch of 1847. So where did the Hawkins family get its money? Well, from what Charles inherited, I presume. Although, these dates on the manifests could indicate that he had contracts of another kind. With whom, I wonder? I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Can you tell me where the warehouse is again? Look, I've already shown it to you. It's the one with the cop on guard duty out front. You can't miss it. Understood. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Where do you think you're going?
I'm not here to hinder your work, officer. Edward Pierce, private detective. Sorry, we're all a little on edge today. What are you doing here? I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. Darn it. Why do you want to drag up all that stuff again? My investigation has led me to this warehouse. That case was closed months ago. What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's... dangerous. What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas, and the accident has... affected him badly. He can be unpredictable, especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor, leave him well alone. You again. I told you to beat it. No need to get worked up. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. I respect your beliefs. Our beliefs? You mean you don't believe in God? That's irrelevant. That's what you think. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them! There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to Dark Water? Peculiar house. Yeah, that's where we live. Our boat. It's not because it doesn't float anymore that we're going to abandon it. That statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? You wouldn't be looking down at us, like all townspeople do. Saint Brendan. He protected whalers and fishermen like us. Until those assholes defaced him. Isn't it a bit early for alcohol? We got nothing better to do anyway. There's not much work around here. Fitzroy gives us a few chores every now and again, but since the whaling station shut down, ain't a lot of jobs left around here. So we drink. The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. This cat you mentioned, is she their boss? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. I've taken enough of your time. We'll see you later.
tell me? No, if it gets out, I'll have serious problems with you. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. Who's this guy? No idea. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink less. I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's gonna be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. So, who are you? Are you stupid, or are you doing it on purpose? Everybody knows us on Darkwater. I've just arrived. Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. What happened to the statue of St. Brendan? Dreadful. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors? Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? Cap. She's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> she redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope you had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> She sounds frightening, your boss. And she doesn't like to be talked about behind her back. I bid you gentlemen farewell. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink less. I've got to get inside. It's your boss who sent me. Oh yeah? And why didn't she say anything to us? She sent me to see who's filching her stock. I don't know what you're talking about. You got no proof to back up your claims, and I'd advise you against snitching. If I can't get rid of those two, I'll have to look for another way. Back again. What can I do for you? These bootleggers seem unwilling to let anyone approach the warehouses. They're part of the private property I mentioned earlier. And yet the place looks abandoned. Why guard the entrance? As a precaution, I suppose. All the warehouses are more or less interconnected by old sewers. You mean that there's a way to go from one to the other by tunnel? I couldn't tell you if it's still the case today for all the warehouses on the island. But I think I can imagine what you've got in mind. 
You can always visit them if you're not the claustrophobic type. You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. This warehouse looks abandoned. Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of territory, but I ain't asking. If you want to know more, go ask the captain. Good. Thank you. I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her? Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, nose around too much, you'll have dealings with her. I shall take my leave. This tunnel goes under the warehouses. I could use this old winch to lift the grating, but it's been completely taken to bits. There must be some spare parts amid all this clutter. This handle will be perfect for the winch. A ratchet device. Exactly what I need.
should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. A whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. Looks like everything is in its place. All I have to do is turn this handle. oil. I hope it's not toxic. <coughs> This is primitive. Oh, this place stinks. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? What happened here? Someone treasures this crumpled picture to the point of sleeping with it. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings?
someone has settled in here. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You! Don't move! Detective Pierce, I told you to stay away from this warehouse. It's clear that you knew the victims. I'm sorry to dig up bad memories. I can still see the poor child lying burned on the floor of their drawing room. We had to tear him off. The marks must still be there. They're in my mind anyway. It's horrendous. I'm going to need your experience to bring him justice, Officer Bradley. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange poetry. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car is parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Her again. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. Well, here we are, Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Your partner, Andrews, warned me against him. You managed to get something out of that bum? I'll end up asking you for advice. He talks too much. He inferred that old Silas was slightly unhinged. That's not far off the mark, I suppose. 
but kind of unfair at the same time. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family, so he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go, right? You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? I don't believe the fire is the only reason this house is in such a state. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha! Huh. You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. It remains to be seen what they did with all their money. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. Night falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. You stay here and keep an eye on things. Okay. But don't get the impression that I'll leave you alone inside the mansion. Recently fallen. It's as if all life has abandoned the place. Cheapers. Poe's prophetic raven. find another entrance. This entrance is still in use. Whoa! You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them! Dump them into the ocean! Whoa! Uh, uh, uh. 
You're Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. Let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on Darkwater. You haven't forgiven yourself. You stay here to honor the memory of the deceased. That's true. I want no more violence. No more tragedy. It's painful to be the last one left. You don't know how right you are. Understood. I'm listening. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. No, I can't let you in. The mansion isn't safe. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. No one lives in the mansion, and you don't take care of it anymore. If you have a good reason to be here, I'm listening. There's vermin. I keep an eye out. Vermin? Yeah, that's it. Vermin. Right. This is what we're going to do. I go inside, and I promise that I'll hunt vermin. Okay with you? Mm, I'm not sure. If there's nothing else to fear, you can give me that key. <clears throat> right. Take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then. Just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. Yes. Shall we enter? Let's take a look inside. I'm coming with you. There's no way I'll leave you alone in there without a watchful eye. Follow me. I know the place. Who left this light on? The Last Supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? What kind of meat is this? This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins.
boy was probably here. Smashed his plate on the floor. Sarah Hawkins' plate. Why did she leave it untouched? Something happened at this table. An argument? Hey, Pierce. Daydreaming again? Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Silas managed to bring the fire under control, but it was already too late for the Hawkins. Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? They had a fight. Why? Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? Did someone escape the fire? Blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. This was a fight. Someone fell here. A desperate attempt to flee. So, Detective, what do you make of it? Much of this evidence simply contradicts the investigation's findings. Really? Tell me about it. I found a bottle of whiskey. Empty. Well, that must have been a loss for you. No glass. I suspect one of them drank heavily to calm down. 
Charles, most probably. That's pretty thin. Who says that bottle hadn't been there for a while? I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. This door is locked. These bandages are covered in dried blood. But whose? The lyrics of the drunken sailor. This, this door is blocked from the outside. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, dated 1818. Hmm. Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Mandatory reading for any- This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. What do you know about Charles Hawkins' activities? Well, not much to be... A book on the first inhabitants of the island. It seems they got here around... the 14th century. One of Sarah Hawkins' paintings. Her style sure is recognizable. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police. What will her room reveal about her? This padlock is too complicated for me. It's no use. The padlock won't give. This door is locked.
Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. It's no use. The padlock won't give. This door is locked. The boys' room. Child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? Tom Sawyer. Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11-year-old boy. What was wrong with this family? What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. is blocked on the other side. Despite what happened, they seem to have loved each other. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Sarah Hawkins' agent was getting worried. Seems she wasn't giving any signs of life. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? Hmm. Looks like a revocation ritual. Was she trying to invoke something or banish it? Bradley? Is that you?
This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. No use. The padlock won't give. Is anyone there? You. I heard running in this corridor. There's an intruder in the house. It was him. This door was closed earlier. Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. Sarah Hawkins and Little Simon. The perfect picture of the middle class family. They seem happy, but Charles is already looking off into the future, his marriage just a stop along the way. They seem happy, but Charles is already looking off into the future, his marriage just a... Was Charles Hawkins some kind of explorer? Too much rubble. I'll find an easier way. Where did he go? 
Must have got out some way. No, no, he was here. I'm sure. Let's see. They look like Celtic runes. Charles must have brought them back from one of his foreign trips. It looks like an old seaway map. Clearly, Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. I wonder who the man with the glasses is in the photograph. Probably another friend of Hawkins. The Scylla. It's the boat that was stranded at the entrance to the harbor. This panel is movable. Cogwheels. They must be linked to an opening mechanism. Probably a secret passage. I must find a way to activate the opening mechanism. Great. I managed to force the gears. Looks like I've triggered something. Well done. I'd be better off not touching them. Secret passage, under the manor. It's like a detective novel. That guy must have already gotten far. Yeah. And he had a direct means of entry to the crime scene. Three seats. Did Charles Hawkins use this place? Who were the others? Whatever Charles Hawkins hid here, he didn't want it in his house. The bearer of the mask must have been the leader. What kind of secret society is this? This piece of cloth is unmistakably from a dress. Was Sarah Hawkins here?
Of course. And something tells me that the key is climbing these steps. There's tunnels all over this island. Given the size of this cave, there's got to be other entrances. The passage continues further down. Might as well start with that. I ain't gonna squeeze in there. I'll find another way. If possible, I prefer not to ruin my uniform. Fine, fine. Go look for another entrance. I'll try my luck down below. Sad way to go. An old diary. Sad way to go. These paintings must be several centuries old. Time has weakened these structures. I don't have time to search them all. What's going on here? Piers! Keep your voice down. We're not alone. Good God. What have you got me into? We'll see. I'll go on. Try to go down on your side. Yeah, there's a passage. I'll meet you at the bottom. Table for sacrifice? I got it. Oh, I can't breathe. What's happening? No. 
No, damn it! I must find a way out of here. Is it... Is it my turn? Yes. It is time. You will soon be one of us. If your body and mind are ready. I dream of it every night. I have constant visions. I am ready. Good enough. Prove it to us. It's like in my dream. It seems to have been used recently. Probably some sort of ritual. Can't read Latin. Pray for your return into the kingdom of the earth. We are ready for the ceremony. What about? Bradley, what are you doing here? I saw two hard looking guys coming down. Seemed up to no good. What in the world is this? An intruder! Oh shit! Don't move! Police! Don't move! I won't hesitate! Bradley, get back! Show. Get back! You asked for it! Get out of here. Ah! <sighs> 
Light. At last. having a seizure. Who will survive? A strong subject. There, he's opening his eyes. He saved him, Paula. I, I can't get up. Don't move, Pierce. You can certainly say that you gave us a scare. <laughs> What did you do to me? Undo these straps! Whoa! Go easy, my friend. You were dead. He killed you. Are you sure he's better? He was... He was dead. Me too! We, we were dead! What are you doing? I'm sorry, my friend. What? No! Where am I? Mr. Sanders, you have to come with us. No, please. I can't leave here. You got no choice, Sanders, and neither do we. You don't understand. If I go out, he'll see me. No, no! You're leaving this cell. Please. I don't want him to find me.
We don't have much time. Can you stand up? Who are you? A friend of Ethan Bradley. It was he who told me that you had been interned here. Wait. Bradley is really alive? I don't understand. You filled me so full of drugs I can't distinguish dream from reality. Please believe that I have nothing to do with these disgraceful treatments. Look, I don't have time to explain everything. I'm not really supposed to be here. And the same goes for you, according to Ethan. You must leave as soon as possible, and as unobtrusively as possible. I've brought you your clothes. Let me go ahead. We'll meet upstairs. Uh, wait a minute. What's going on here? What do they do to the patients to make them so terrified? I would really like to know. I only see them when they are brought up for medical treatment, for problems they didn't have before going downstairs. But this is neither the time nor the place to talk about that. We must not stay here. There are two men standing guard near the stairs. It's the only way to the floor above. I shall try to distract them and get at least one to come with me. All you need to do is to follow me as soon as the way is free. Understood. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 